Oh, hi, I am Matteo Spinelli and this is the review of a Cooler Master SK630. I'm shooting this video for uh, my friends at thestority.net. If you are serious about mechanical keyboards, there's no better place to go. So nothing special with the box, except for the Cherry MX Low Profile RGB Red Sticker. Last year Cherry came out with uh, the successor of the Cherry ML switch. This one, except for the fact that uh, it is low profile, has nothing in common with, with Cherry ML. A couple of years ago, uh, Kaiwa actually came out with this switch that is low profile, um, very similar to a Cherry ML, but um, not quite compatible with, uh, with the keycaps. Uh, it has a proprietary um, stem so you cannot use Cherry ML uh, keycaps on, on the Kaiwa uh, switch. So, um, Cherry did something very smart. That is a, a switch that is low profile, but still compatible with uh, standard Cherry MX uh, keycaps. Uh, let's unbox it. Very nice velvety carry bag. Let's see what's inside. And here it is with its aluminum top frame and unfortunately plastic bottom frame. And what else in the box? A user manual in all the languages and then tiny little box with a braided cable USB type C and a key puller which is always nice to have. I might say that it is a rather sexy keyboard with very minimal branding from Cooler Master. You can sort of recognize the, the Cooler Master logo from this keycap that is the function key, but there's nowhere written a Cooler Master unless you flip over the keyboard and here you can see the full logo. There. They used uh, low profile switches and I mean the only purpose of using low profile switches is to make a low profile keyboard and they kind of wanted to do a low profile keyboard but it is not actually that low profile. From the bottom to the top of the keycap including the feet is about 24 millimeters and um, if you take a standard um, 10 keyless keyboard from the bottom including the feet to the top is 28 millimeters it's not really that thin uh, compared to uh, a standard a standard keyboard so, um, I don't quite understand the, the, the design choice of, of Cooler Master. Let's see why this keyboard doesn't look that uh, low profile. First of all, I believe the problem is with the keycaps. As you can see, they are pretty tall keycaps for a low profile keyboard. Uh, the keyboard is backlit so the keycaps are backlight compatible they are just painted black and then the the legend is lasered over and uh, but to know exactly what is going on the only way is to open this baby and I'm looking forward to it there are 15 freaking screws to remove to open this keyboard I don't know what they are thinking so Let's open it. Yeah, you can see the extension cable for the USB port. 
the PCB is rather clean and a pretty huge capacitor over here. Yeah, this is not really the design for a, for a low profile keyboard. If the USB were directly on the on the PCB, uh, they would have spared uh, five millimeters at least. Yeah, I'm not sure why they are using this beefy capacitor, but yeah, okay, it's there. It's good to have. Also, this is the what they call the light bar. So yeah, the the. So you can see the, the backlight also on the sides of the keyboard, completely useless. And this also adds some, some height to, to the keyboard. I don't know if you can see here in camera, but there, seem, there seems to be like two um, slots for what could possibly be a a battery pack. I don't know if they want to do a, a wireless version of, the, of this keyboard, it would be cool. Moment of truth. Uh, we are going to connect this keyboard to a PC and see what happens. Um, detachable USB cable. Everybody likes that. And here it is. All purple. Yeah, it looks blue on camera, but it's purple. Okay, let me turn down the light a little so you can enjoy the full Christmassy RGB backlight experience. So you've got a, an idea of what you can do in terms of backlighting with uh, this keyboard, which is uh, frankly a lot. If you are into backlighting, this, this is the keyboard for you. But um, let's see how it actually feels to to type on the SK630. So, um, the keycaps are uh, slightly concave, but um, not enough to make the keycap feel actually comfortable. The keycaps are very close to each other and um, it's, you, you do not feel the, the edge of the of the keycap and you end up mistyping. I believe it's just a matter of getting used to the new shape, but these keycaps are definitely not typist keycaps. Uh, this keyboard, I don't feel it is very com comfortable to type on this keyboard, mm, but the sound is good, the, the, um, the switches are uh, better than I expected. They are, yes, light, but uh, for some reason they they feel slightly stiffer than standard Cherry MX uh, switches. And the sound is good. There's very, very little rattling coming from the stabilizer that we are going to see in a moment. So you may say, who cares about the keycaps? The stems are standard Cherry MX. I'll replace 
the keycaps with a good keycap set I have and the keyboard is going to feel fantastic but yeah not quite and the reason is the stabilizers yep they are custom they are kind of um, coaster like it is similar to what uh, Alps switches Alps keyboard used to do but yeah not something that you can easily find on the market so it's completely worthless to have Cherry MX stems and a custom stabilizer because we cannot actually swap the, the keycaps so wrapping up and I'm leaving the keycaps out on purpose because I want to put this thing on shame um, Cooler Master used low profile switches but didn't make the extra mile to, to design a keyboard that is actually low profile. So what is the purpose of using low profile switches if you don't go actually low profile all the way? Um, the keyboard is uh, indeed sleek. It indeed looks very nice on your key on, on your desktop and uh, it feels nice it's not uh, a typist uh, keyboard um, the keycaps uh, need some time to get used to them but the sound is good and so if you like linear switches and if you like the design of this keyboard and if you like backlighting uh, this is something you can buy but again there's no reason to exist for this keyboard they used original cherry switches which is great because they have the stem that we all know and love but they have a custom stabilizer so we cannot use custom keycaps no no way so you are stuck with the keycaps that come with the with with the keyboard that are not great they are fine they're, but they are nothing special they are not uh, good enough for a mechanical keyboard this is a premium priced mechanical keyboard and it, the, the experience should be good overall and this is not the case it's expensive it's meaningless invest your money in a standard uh, 10 keyless keyboard and you you will surely make a better investment um, if you really do like this design yes the the only the only reason to buy this keyboard is probably for the design thanks for watching